Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have another flip through and it's for the astrology reading cards, okay? This is from Alison Chester Lambert and uh, the illustrator is Richard Crooks, okay? This is an astrology deck, it's just 36 cards, but uh, just the enough, you know, information there because you have the, the signs, the zodiac signs, you have the planets and you have the houses. And that's something that I was really looking forward. And you can see here it comes in the sturdy box. It's a little bit bigger than normal. I mean, there's no standard really, but it's a bit bigger than Oracle cards. But you can see here this beautiful box. Okay, it is magnetic here on the side. And it's Peron Findor Press. Okay, you see here. I don't know exactly, but the information is here. And you can see, like, this is a beautiful box, okay? And you can see the guidebook is actually very good. I took off the plastic and everything here, but I just got it yesterday. And uh, you can see the guidebook is actually beautiful with the um, full page for each card. And you can see colorful cards. You can see here is the same size as the card itself, which is amazing. Okay, the, the guidebook is very good. One thing that I'm not very, very happy about it is the card um, itself i mean the quality okay it's very very thin but the, the beautiful images and everything so we go to a quick flip through here and as always i will shuffle at the end and i read from one page of the information on the guidebook so you have an idea of what to expect on the guidebook but you can see this came with uh, some extra paper here that was holding the the cards but i took it away and um, i already edged it because I just got last night and uh, I, I edged with my daughter. She loves edging the cards for me. She's nine years old. So she's coloring the, the cards for me. And the, this is colored in three different uh, colors here because you can see in the back, they also have the three different colors. Okay. You can see here, green, bluish, and uh, purple, pinkish. Okay. So this is what we have here. And you can see here, you can you know already from the back that the house cards the planet cards and the zodiac sign cards okay so it's very easy to get the information from them okay i feel like the box and the guidebook are so good and they could have spent a little bit more money on the the card stock okay guys because we are talking thin okay like very very thin so i did want to edge straight away just to see if it helps a little bit but you can see here the edging was lovely, so I'm really happy with the edging. But mm, no, the cardstock's not great. I mean, I love the the images are very good. There is the the keyword, okay, like the sign is here, the the symbols here, and the image is beautiful, and there's a full phrase here as well. And uh, we go through to them here. So again, just 36 cards because it's 12 for each, okay? 12 signs, 12 planets, 12 uh, card, uh, 12 houses. And that's what you see here. So you can see here starting Aries. It did not come in order and the guidebook is not in order. There must be a reason. Okay, you can see here how you can see my fingers. Okay, in stains here. Right, I'm trying to clean here. But you can see it's, it's not great. Okay, the cardstock is not great. But I feel like it's very useful because of all the signs, the astrology, signs, the symbols. Okay, I'm, go I'm working with that at the moment. And it's good to... Maybe get more information if you have a pick a card that you want to know more about the person, what's the sign, what is happening in their lives, what's ruling their lives or planet, ruling their lives at the moment, anything like that that can be helpful, I think. Those cards are really good, okay? The images are beautiful, just not a great card stock. But you can see here Aries. The energy around you is dynamic and spontaneous, crusading, impulsing, action is likely. So you can see here there is information, image is, is really good, but... Um, yeah, the card stock, not great. And you can see here, this the zodiac ones are the purple, pinkish ones. It's very beautiful. Okay, the image is beautiful. It's just the quality. Like I said, like they spent a lot on the on the box and on the guidebook, but not the card, not so much. It, and I put it in order. Okay, like the order that I wanted anyway. So Taurus and the energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthly, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. So you can see it's a full phrase for each of the signs of the planets. All of them have. And you can see here the constellation, the sign. You can see here Gemini. So it's very good that way. The information is really good. The image on the back is good. 
I feel like it's really good. It's just the, the quality is not the greatest, but it's not going to stop me from using for sure. You know, cancer, you can see here the sign. And you can see how it's connected with, it's not explaining like about cancer sign, but it's similar to the energy, okay? So you can see here, the energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother or a child. So you see, depending, you can use for questions, or like I said, I wanted to use more to find the, more about the person, okay? Like personality, when you're trying to get more details about someone and pick a card video. So you can see here, Leo, Virgo. Hopefully you can see everything and Libra, all the signs. So the image is really beautiful. Okay, guys, definitely beautiful. Scorpio, and you have, and it says about the energy, okay? In this case, the energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. Okay, so just have an idea of the energy of whatever you're asking at the time. So I feel like it can be very useful on bigger card videos. Also, if you want to use for yourself, if you wanted to just add on to readings, or if you just wanted to have information more, or if you're learning about astrology as well, I feel like it's very, really useful. This is Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. We do have the, of course, the sun and the moon, which are not planets, but, you know, stars, the sun and the moon. So you can see here, your um, immortal spirit, purpose, and density is involved. So you can see here the sun, again, the symbol, and for the moon, symbol, your unconscious, sensitive, inner emotions and responses. Okay, we have Chiron. We also have Vesta, okay, the goddess. And then we start with the planet, okay, Mercury. And again, the symbol here. In case you're learning, this is very good, all right, with symbols and everything that, that helps you out to understand a little bit of the energy of that planet, of that sign. So I feel like it is definitely useful. But you can see here Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Neptune, Pluto, and then we start with the houses, and you can see here change the colors. So it goes to the first house, and then the energy of that house, okay? What people see, and the, the impression you give on the first house, the second house, the assets, finances, and the things that you value, the third house for your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. Fourth house, your home and the roots of your being. Fifth house, where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. Sixth house, the work, health, and duty area of your life. Seventh house, this area is your life, of your life is about long-term significant partners, romantic business or family. Eighth house, this transformational area is your life of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions the ninth house broadening your horizons either spiritually academically or on a long journey tenth house your achievements and stat status in the outside world eleventh house where the cosmos grants wishes luck friends and social occasions in the 12th house, this is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. You can see here how it is very good. Like I said, if you learn here, if you already just use the astrology, you know, it, it's very useful to like maybe mix and take one card of each and understand the what's going on in your life today or what's ruling someone's life in case you are asking about someone else. Help out with uh, extra information, like I said, on the, the pick a card readings or adding on to readings. If you want to know about the, what's going on in that person's life, okay, what's ruling. You can see here my edging again, my my daughter's edging, you can, you can see. So, and you can see here the colors are really beautiful, guys. You know, so beautiful. The, the information is very useful. I feel like connected. And I'll just mix here and see what we'll get 
I'll just read one card so you have an idea of the information because the full page, okay, is, is, is a good amount of details on the pages itself, okay? So the book itself is very good. I will take maybe one of the planets because I can see from the back which one it is, okay? So maybe one of the planets, okay, to see what's ruling us today, Jupiter. Okay, just so you have an idea here. And like I said, the guidebook is really lovely. Jupiter is right here. And you can see here the this information, the spread ideas, a bit about uh, how to use the cards as well, okay? This is actually very good. The, the guidebook is lovely. So you can see it talks about the planets. So I'm gonna read, you can see here is a full page. Okay, uh, so that was Jupiter, was right here. And uh, I'm going to read about it. It's like I said, it's not in order. So there's a reason for this order. I didn't read yet on the book. So you can see Jupiter is right at the beginning. So you can see the image is beautiful, right? You can see here, the guidebook is the same size as the, the card itself. Right? So I'll leave it here. And I'll read it for you. If you have drawn the Jupiter card, then the current universal energy is focused on your confidence, courage, sense of self-belief and potency. When this part of you is activated, you have access to your inner knowing, the Gnosis and divine guidance. Your guardian angel is protecting you and filling you with faith, vision and intuition. As your confidence rises, you can tune in, gaining insight into the future. Wild guesses seem to hit the nail on the head, and you can prophesy accurately. You may dare to leap beyond your normal boundaries, forget any worries, and just know that everything will turn out well. This is the part of you that shrugs off or turns a deaf ear to the warnings of others. You will feel irritation at any limits or boundaries that your body or mind impose on you now, since you want to grow with the freedom to soar like an eagle into higher, breathtaking expansion, taking imaginative leaps to allow wonder and magic in. Material prosperity is often a matter of how rich you will allow yourself to become, since we can unconsciously limit ourselves by not wanting to be greedy or believing that we are not worth more. Your lucky strike is now activated, so think rich and abundant. Your conviction and sense of omnipotence are rallied. But beware of arrogance, overconsumption, overexpansion, or overly dangerous risks. You may well be right, but be careful how you assert that. Your Jupiter represents growth in many forms. One form is growth of the body, but the mind and soul and spirit need growth also. You now access your faith, understanding of divinity, the spirit of the law and philosophy. So you may challenge or grow some of these beliefs. You may also be involved with higher education, travel, exploration or teaching. You can see here, guys, loads of details in the book about the in this case the jupiter card and i leave you with this information about jupiter you know you can see how we can get this confidence you can see the keywords here are you your confidence courage self-belief and luck so this is a chance really for us to tune in into this confidence in this belief that we deserve the best we can achieve things okay avoiding arrogance or you know thinking that we are always right, but really tuning with our confidence, with our inner power of making the decisions, choosing the right ways for ourselves. So I feel like this is a beautiful card here to end with. I'll leave all the links below, like always, guys, if you want to discuss for yourself. I feel like uh, the only thing here is really the quality of the cards. Other than that, the information, the images, and all the details are really good. So I'll leave all the details down for you if you want to discuss for yourself. And as always, let me know if you enjoyed this video. And I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.